All right, we're in the hanged man. We're going to go start whatever it is Varric's got going for us at this point in the game. You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Uh, okay. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> just once. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. You want a pint while we're here, Hawk? I'll buy. Okay. Wasn't really anything there, but uh, it's got to be something later on. We can go talk to Anders, though. Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the Gallows Courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Doesn't Chantry Law say that mages who pass their harrowing can't be made Tranquil? Exactly. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Who's behind this? The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the Guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. He likes to experiment on mages. Find out what it takes to push them into the arms of demons. How do we stop them? My friends in the mage underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the mage problem. To sunder the mind of every mage in the free marches. 
I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo, to the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. I wouldn't let you face this alone. You are the one bright light in Kirkwall. I've always feared being made tranquil. Now, more than ever, I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. Okay, the whole tranquility thing is something that was referenced a number of times in Dragon Age Origins and and about how it is a sort of a prophylactic measure against preventing demonic possession from mages or um, or say uh, to prevent mages from prevent mages from being sort of possessed by demons as well as preventing mages cutting off their ability to use magic and making them like docile and servile mage that's undergone the rite of tranquility will go and lose their own sense of self all emotions all that kind of stuff just disappear it also cuts off their magical ability those guys are going to attack us I should sell some stuff. The deep roads? Do not tell anyone about this way into the gallows. It's a secret that has saved the lives of hundreds of mages. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Let's go. Find evidence of Sororic's plan. I'm taking it straight to the Grand Cleric. She will not be able to claim neutrality then. The the whole tranquility thing is usually always forced on the people who undergo it. Now there are instances where mages fearing demonic possession will actually submit willingly or volunteer for tranquility. But, uh, for the most part, it's done involuntarily. It's done as either a punishment or as, like, done out of fear. Now, that'll sort of, um... And it doesn't... Tranquility doesn't kill the person who hasn't done it, but it might as well have, because... I mean, can anybody who... who, uh has that done to them still truly be considered alive at that point and uh, so if anybody's going and abusing it I mean it's bad enough that it exists to begin with but at least you can look at it and understand why it exists why it was created what it's used for and to a certain extent the fears of um, mages are justified but uh, I mean really You crave the stuff. I cut off the first half of that, but Andrews was talking about these guys here, Lyrium smugglers, which appear to be mostly dwarves, are, um, are, had tunnels built by the Templars in order to smuggle Lyrium into them, because the Templars, as 
high and mighty as they present themselves are all addicted to lyrium, because that's the substance that they use to sort of ward themselves against magical attacks and all that kind of stuff. It's also very addictive. So they're all basically drug addicts, which is why maybe they're not the best people to be making rash decisions, like whether someone should be made tranquil or not. So these these crazed drug addicts, or half-crazed drug addicts, have a sort of, um, sort of, have trumped themselves up as just being, oh shit. So it seems the people that are in power are maybe not the people who should be. Anything in there? Oh, yes. Now, we had seen it early on in the game, how the fear against mages in Kirkwall seems to be greater than the fear of mages in Ferelden. Now, people in Ferelden did fear mages a lot. They did have a lot of fear of mages, and, like, especially with the circle possession that happened that you had, and all of that that you had to play through. Doesn't this place look familiar? You know, this is the only way in. Yeah, well, um, I've been here before and there are other ways to get here. Seeing this pattern repeated over and over and over again. It's where a lot of... I mean, there are two things that people mostly complained about when it came to this game. One was the fact that you're very limited in your origin story. Like in Dragon Age Origins, you can be a dwarf, you can be an elf, you can be a human, and each one had a pretty significantly different origin story, and uh, it's, you play through a different part of the beginning of the game, at least, and whether you're playing as a dwarf or a human mage or whatever, you had different ways that people would react to you and all that kind of stuff. In this game, the only thing you get to choose is between male and female human. You're part of the Hawk family. You have the same origin story, all this, that, and the other thing. That was something that a lot of people complained about, and I guess I I can see that complaint. But the bigger one, I think, was mostly this whole thing about how the environments keep repeating over and over and over again. How many times have we seen this same cave? How many more times will we see the same cave? And... I mean, they turned this game on, I think, I think it was like two years between Origins and this one. So they clearly saved a lot of time by not creating a crap ton of different environments and just having you, like, run over the same places over and over and over again made that all easier. So yeah, they blocked this off so they couldn't go in there to try and make it feel a little bit different. You have different entrances and exits each time you come in here for different quests and stuff. Like, it's supposed to be a different location. So they start you off in a different beginning. But you'll notice it's the same place, though. They, they didn't do a good enough job of hiding it. And they did it probably just to save time. In Inquisition, they didn't repeat this mistake. Either of them. And it was considered a much better game for it. Please, I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't toe the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. 
Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. The Chantry frowns on Templars who take personal advantage of their charges. Who's this? It's the Divine. Come all the way from Orlais to tell you personally what a jackass you are. You fiends will never touch a mage again. Oh boy. Shit's getting out of hand. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Let's rain down some death. Alright, here we go. Alright, I've lost control of the situation again. <laughs> Well, the big bad's almost dead, but they brought in a lot more guys, so we gotta start being careful again. I figure I can take him out real quick. Okay, he's dead. I just got the little guys to take care of now. We'll kill them all. I promise. Every one of them will feel justice's burn. Get away from me, demon! I am no demon. Are you one of them that you would call me such? Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Messer. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. Oh, wow, well, that got out of hand. See, even... Even with justice there, Ju even though justice is supposed to be, like, the spirit of justice, quite literally. Oh, wow, well, their, uh, their solution was, well, it was rejected. Even though justice is the spirit of justice, and you see that in uh, Origins Awakening, it's been corrupted. Like, the difference between a spirit and a demon in this world is sometimes justified by only its intentions. And justice, although wasn't what you would consider a demon before, it is definitely being dragged in that direction. And that may be the fault of Anders. Saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? 
thing. He's a demon, whether he admits it or not. Can I go home now? Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Thank you, Messere. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Uh, let's find our way back to Andrew's clinic, see if he has anything to say for himself there. is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the Tranquil Solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine... rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was... not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you said. Well, we found what we were looking for, but we also found that, well, maybe Anders isn't quite as sane or in control of himself as he thought he was. And, uh, well, as bad as it seemed like it was with the mages being made tranquil, like, just wholesale, just being gathered up and made tranquil, it doesn't appear to be that that is exactly what's happening. Both the Divine rejected that and the Knight Commander of the of the uh, Templar Order in Kirkwall even rejected it. So, it's still, it's not as bad as we may have thought. <laughs> 